City Spotlight is supported by Consolidated Communications. CCI is honored to salute the cities and their leaders in the area, as well as providing TV, internet, and phone service to local homes and businesses. We live where we work and are proud to support the communities we serve. More information available at Consolidated.com. Welcome to City Spotlight. On this program, we have learned about communities from Marshall to Taylorville, Arthur to Effingham, and places in between, from community leaders across Central and East Central Illinois. We've also been able to feature events and places that have helped shape the towns we have had on City Spotlight. On this episode of City Spotlight, we're going to take an extended look at the International Mural Painting event featuring the Wall Dogs in Marshall. Over the course of four days, artists from around the world came to Marshall to paint murals all across town on people, places, and things that have shaped the town of Marshall through the years. We talked with some of the talented artists that helped out with the murals plus plenty of sounds from all those that helped contribute to the 16 murals that were created in Marshall. We will start this episode talking with the Mayor of Marshall, Cammie Sanders, and Jennifer Bishop of the Marshall Area Chamber of Commerce. And then we will showcase all the sights and sounds of the mural painting by the Wall Dogs in Marshall. Hope you enjoyed this episode of City Spotlight on the international mural painting event featuring the Wall Dogs in Marshall. I think it surprised a lot of people. It's uh, really brought a lot of people into town. It's, uh, the murals are beautiful. They're absolutely, when they, when they displayed them Wednesday night, you know, they put them, revealed them. It was like, how are they ever gonna have them done by Sunday? And wow, they, they've been doing a lot of painting and it's, it's pretty awesome. And uh, like I said, most of them are gonna be uh, in the downtown area. Mm -hmm. uh, so that addition to your downtown area, certainly another thing to look forward to oh, yeah. in, the, in the center of Marshall. Oh yeah, I, I, it's one of those things that uh, bring, bring people into town and once they go into town and they drive around, they go to these murals, they're gonna just see just how nice Marshall really is. I mean, it's a very clean, very nice community. Do you have one favorite thing that has transpired here or uh, what, have you, what have you enjoyed about seeing what has transpired here in the course of the Wall Dogs being here, whether it be the artists, the murals, the people? Uh, the people are great. The, the, not, only, not only the artists, the people of Marshall are great. They, they've been out, but he's been supporting the artists. Uh, uh, I've had several artists say, you know, we need something. All we got to do is click our fingers and, and Jennifer and you guys are coming up with it. It's great. Uh, it's just been a really good experience. How uh, Marshall was able to get this and, and what kind of efforts did it take to get this here? So this was four years in the making. They pick one community every summer and kind of descend on it. Um, so back in 2012, we looked at it, thought about it and thought, all right, let's try this. We did one mural in 2013. Um, and at that point it was like, wow, there were a lot of people that watched it go up and really enjoyed it. And we had the opportunity to secure the date of 2016. And about 18 months to 24 months ago, we were like, okay, we're doing this. Let's, let's do this. Let's go full force. Let's, let's do this. Um, I was hoping to raise about $70,000 to make it happen. And with in-kind donations, we're probably close to the $150,000 mark. So um, it's been a great community effort. The community has really come together to help this project, um, not only financially, but um, volunteer-wise. And just the pride in our community has just really shown this weekend more than I could have ever imagined. We have uh, probably about 180 artists from seven different countries. Um, they have flown in from, you name it, they're here. Um, we've had luggage in our office come late. Uh, I've had to go run home and get toothpaste for some of the overseas folks, but it's been fun. It's been a real blast. We have 16 murals going up. We have one glass piece, and then we already have two murals already in town, one that we did in 2013, mm -hmm. and then inside the post office they have one. So by the end of this weekend, we should have 18 murals and one glass piece. And most of the murals are going up in and around the downtown, so uh -huh. people can literally just drive around the downtown and see them. Absolutely. I've also noticed that there are some traveling murals that will go up uh, around Marshall. Yes, there will be one out at the interstate at the Title Max building. There will be one at the high school as you walk into the gym to show some uh, school pride. And then we'll also have another one out at Cloverfield Market okay, out sure. near Lincoln Trail Park. Very good. Uh, Central Illinois has had uh, the Wall Dogs here recently since 2010. Danville and Arcola are the most recent towns, and now Marshall here right. in 2016. And see if I get all my facts here right. You have artists from around the world, from England, Germany, Scotland, New Zealand, Netherlands, Canada, I hope I didn't forget one, 
and many artists from Illinois and, and around the and uh, around the United States. Absolutely, it is truly an international event. Absolutely, it is, and just to see and talk to them. And we were talking to the Scotland guys last night, and they were explaining to me how they letter and how they work their events, and they were over there making new signs for some of the businesses, and they've really gone above and beyond. They have. It's yeah. a great collection of artists, and yeah. they are they are masters of their craft. <laughs> Definitely not mine. <laughs> I, I've seen Jennifer running around in a golf cart a lot of the times as I've gone from one mural to the other. How would you yeah. describe um, how this week has gone? I know there's one more full day left. Yeah, well, um, Wednesday was fantastic. We had a welcome dinner for about 320 people. It was phenomenal. We had Abraham Lincoln and the Lions mascot and a couple other characters for some of the, some of the murals um, attend the dinner and take pictures with people. And that just set the tone for us. Um, Thursday was a little crazy and hectic. It was extremely hot. Um, and we all needed scaffolding and water and ice. And it was a crazy day. Yesterday, Friday was phenomenal. We got to sit back, laugh and enjoy and, and just take in, in the art much like the spectators were. Anything surprise you along the way? No, not really. I, I just think it's exactly kind of what I pictured for the last four years. Um, it, it, I think it surprises me that the community finally sees it. Um, I think a lot of them had a hard time picturing it and visualizing it. I've always visualized it, but they haven't. So now they get to see it. They see it. Um, but it's just been fun. It's been so much fun. And speaking of visualizing, nice setup there. It's uh, a lot of them are around the downtown. So yeah. It's going to be a part of this community. People For many drive, years, drive around, and you can't not uh, your eyes can't not gravitate to these these murals. The and colors, the colors on these murals, vibrant. are vibrant. They're supposed to last 20 to 30 plus years. Uh, walking from mural to mural, the word that I heard was uh, eye popping, or they they, they pop. That's they stand a great out. great word for it. Yes, that's uh, a great word. How do you think these murals, and not to forecast the future, how do you think they'll help Marshall moving forward? Um, I think it's a great way to advertise our community. I think it's going to be a great asset to our community. I've had people come up to me and say, I never knew that about Marshall. How did you find that out? And, you know, I just kind of dug around and people let me know what was going on and what, what was in the past. And um, it's been amazing to learn the history of this community. And a lot of people are learning that history of this community. So it's been really, really cool. Uh, one of the ones behind us is the Dog and Suds. Uh -huh. And I talked to several people here and they told me it's on was on the southern end of town and so I've heard a lot of stories especially about that 57 Chevy that's in that picture. Well it just was here a few minutes it was, ago. It yes. was here with the uh, original owner so that was really cool to see. Anything else you'd like to add about the wall dogs being here in town and uh, what it's done for Marshall? So it's just been great. It's been a great economy boost. It's been a great economic development project. It's just been phenomenal all around and I really hope that our community takes pride in in what we've done and what we've accomplished as a community. This isn't a chamber project, this isn't my project, this is a community's project. I've certainly had a lot of fun uh, filming it and meeting a lot of the artists and the people here. We need the background first. My plan was for the day was that we are done with the background. Maybe we get a second coat today too. Awesome. So the background is just the straight umber? Yes. Makes it much easier. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Good. I didn't come over and bother you because you guys had it. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Great. This is amazing. Mine's a little bit lighter. Yeah, yours a little bit lighter. But if we, if we put them both together. Yep. Cocktail mix. No, I got uh, everything here. I got your brush in a minute. And, uh, so I think we're in good shape. We got some brushes up here. Rags, Excellent. And they... hey. I don't want that uh, background. I'm a righty, man. I'm a righty. All right. So this is how it's done. Oh, Lord. Left hand. See, I'm going to be in this, <laughs> I'm gonna be in this video. See? <laughs> Got to fill in those grooves, right? Yeah. If you don't get the groove filled in, it's going to look bad. It's a team effort. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so you gotta get right in the groove, man. Yeah, okay, there you go. And then you smear yeah. some on your shirt. Yeah, and, and then like, you walk away. Like, oh walk my god, away. I've been working hard. Proud. <laughs> Proud. <laughs> He's got some pink there. So if you have that pink out on the, just carry on with um, along the edge for a minute or two, so you get this section done. What sort of what doing then? Yeah, it's cutting down. Next, next. 400,000th best marbler in England. <laughs> Top man. In Kent. In Kent, sorry. In Kent. You mixing that up for a general light, or you mix? I, I need it something. for um, the background. See, I messed up, and now I'm correcting. Yeah. Right over, you know, <laughs> or just do it and wipe it off. Yeah. With this heat, I don't think we'll be able to do that, but... Yeah, so you, uh, okay, I'm trying to figure it through. So you got... I got the tick marks. Oh, marks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. take care of the background and once we have that so I won't be sketching everything here yeah. he's gonna do the background I'm gonna work on the portraits yeah. um, and on the soldiers and then maybe tomorrow night I'm gonna project the, the, the signage and the books and then we'll finish, finish there that's perfect lettering old-timey typewriter stuff yeah. I love it yeah that's great I'm, I'm not good with, with your guys you know you're very intricate no, All that, that well, no, so. that's that's what it but ought just, to be. Yeah, that's because the he was style old typewriter. And yeah. also, like for this colony, he was a very masculine kind of matcher. That's why I put the the toy soldiers. He was very boot camp kind of, no feminine. I mean, there was only males and her. She was like the the. the the brain behind it all so it was but but she wasn't anything feminine in, in a way so it was all about boot camp and and you know guys getting to know how to write and that was it so it was nothing too fancy we love the wall dogs these are just uh my favorite people in the world we get together it's like a big reunion for all of us and um uh, we can't wait to get back every year, so it doesn't matter where we paint as long as we got the same people that come in. Um, Cornbread, of course, is from here, and so he organized all this, and I know he's real excited about this because he's um, this will be his his own personal legacy as well as ours. Um, but it's so exciting when this thing starts happening and all the townspeople start coming out just like that group that was here a minute ago and it brings everybody together and then when we leave all this history will be on the walls and for all the people here to see and and discuss and tell their kids about and and also we really want the town to come in and help us paint so that it becomes their wall as much as ours There's what it's going to look uh, like. This was in the okay. paper? Yeah. I don't know what which paper. This had to have been in the local paper. This is the first time I saw it. Okay, so it I'm does have the truck it's, in. It's, it's just sun, but that's, yeah. that's yeah. okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, if it ends up, so what, you know? But uh, uh -huh. but he was the sun. Uh -huh. So, yeah, and then well, there's going to be a plaque with everybody's. Oh, is oh. there underneath it or yeah. close to it? Oh, yeah, I great. think it'd be down on the bottom. Okay. So, cool. cool. Yeah. Awesome. yeah, that's really neat. Originally, they just had a streetscape.
a lot of dates made in the old candy kitchen. <laughs> That's true. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I remember you see you know, all the kids worked in the place, you know, when oh, we were yeah. in high school. So it oh. was a it was a great hangout for you know for go, I tell you. for dancing and just for your friends. And We're separate, your colours will stay separated. Oh, right. And have a wee separate dish of water. So you dip it your water, and dip it your paint, you know, and then that way you're no you're no mixing it all up to you. You want to take your brushes, wash your brushes, it they look like that. I'm a newbie, so <laughs> Well, I did a smaller auction piece, but not that often. Not that often. It's a little bit, you know, I'm from Georgia, and it's pretty cool to be able to paint Abraham Lincoln in his home state. I know, but like, it's kind of... Pull tight. Pull tight, tight. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, yeah, let's get you set up down on the up here. I was driving in this morning. This is what I initially put too much black into. Anyway, try it. It can be. You want to taste it? I just thought no. it would pass. Thank you for the offer, though. <laughs> well done. I thought it should be a different darker than the parchment darker. Yeah. A, a different tint. Well, actually, uh. A yeah, drop shadow is that shaded. Period. Oh, it's not dark enough for shadow, no. Okay. It's right. just a little bit of deeper modeling so I'll to bring take, in uh, from some the of that and um, add my own color. Where are you going? Oh, you're still playing with him? No, I, I just want to, maybe even the, just, I, I don't want to outline with the darker color, the, the shadow, so. I'm, just, I'm waiting for this. For I know, me. I know, I know, I know. But, I, okay, so I've, oh, I've done here, there. you know, here, we have that thing going. Let's do that last So thing. I can, last? Okay. Okay. But I, I need the grid for that, so that's what I'm saying. I don't, oh, I don't want we need you to put to it back on. on. It. Yeah. Okay, makes um, sense. For you, coming back to Marshall, what does, uh, what does this whole experience of, being a part of the Wall Dogs and putting these murals up. What does this mean to you and why are you here? Well, I'm here as the coordinator. I've been working with Jennifer Bishop for four years now, uh, putting this event together. We actually started the journey back in 2012 in Arcola, Illinois. And uh, it's just great to be here and actually seeing a lot of the people I grew up and, and knew when I was uh, when I was running around here on a, as a kid on a bicycle. John Rademacher was my grandfather. He moved here in 1908 and he started up a bottling business, his own private label, uh, Rademacher & Son. He was the son of his dad uh, who helped sponsor him. And uh, in 1939, he got the Double Cola franchise in addition to all his other soda pop. And uh, he was a prominent businessman in Marshall. Uh, not only did he have his own uh, bottling business, uh, but he also made ice cream. He owned the candy kitchen, he owned pool hall, and so he was a very prominent businessman from 1908 to 1959 when his business closed. What does this mean to you and your family? Oh, I just, it means a great deal. I think, you know, uh, I mean, it's hard to express in words. I'd just say that we're honored that uh, we were chosen. Uh, uh, you know, my grandfather and his family are a very prominent family here in, uh, in Marshall for years and uh, were the last of the relatives. Were they different flavors or they were kind of a chocolate? Were no, they? they was like a, a chocolate Like a chocolate, shake. like a chocolate yeah. malt. Yeah, yeah. And that was frozen yeah. solid. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's good. Yeah, I remember John Rademacher, he was a nice man. Yeah. Well, I, I go in the, down here where, oh, you know, in this store. Move on and see the rest and, of Okay. Them. Take he, care. It's nice talking with you. He didn't give any. He never shorted you on ice cream. Oh no, he didn't. Get her by dish of ice cream. He'd fill her yeah, up. Good. Yeah, 
And he'd press it down and he'd eat another one. <laughs> yeah, they'd always get a hand dipped ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> My gray that I said wasn't dark enough. Oh, so did, you, did you get a new it's, one? No, it's getting darker. Oh, okay. <laughs> as, as time goes on, it's darkening up. That's interesting. Beautiful. I want to see if I got the gold for this. The guys here are going to be working on the eagle. I can have you do uh, the green first. And let me go get those brushes and away we go. I think the black is perfect. Let's position there. So just fill this in and don't worry about the, it's this, uh, that little point there. I, I'd like to see the point actually. I kind of like that. Yeah. And it should come down further. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just I mean, it's easier to do it now before I lay the black. You're working with the brown now or with the black? Uh, black, but I'll leave this blank and then we can go in and yeah. fix the brown. Exactly. Yeah, just to take it slightly more towards a sunflower yellow. Okay. He makes with a palette, a color palette. So all of these colors are somewhere in the field. Thank you. Oh yeah, that'll be fine. It's going? Yeah. Awesome. Hey, oh hi. Big pen. There we are, thank you. Is that your pen, my thank pen? You. That's your pen, lovely. I see the shirt. Turn it around. We'll paint over some of these surfaces and then I'll re-pounce the patterns on there. Uh -huh. And uh, transfer the, the pattern back on to some of the colors that we have. How's it going, Jasper? It's going. Good? Yeah. Are, yep. you do, are you doing all right on the car? I'm doing okay. Okay. I got to paint the first mural in town, and that's the National Road, Road Mural, which that was back in 2013, so very special. And, uh, you know, uh, it, it's nice to have it here, and it's nice to have its brothers and sisters pop in with it now. So, uh, a lot of plannings went into this. What makes you want to go from place to place? I mean, what, what, is your, what is your absolute number one favorite thing about doing this? You've been to so many of these now. Hanging out with these people. They're just fantastic. They're fun. I learn a lot. Um, it, 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 it's really like a family for us. We're, um, we, we, we just come together. It's only a four-day thing, but we, we wait for it for the next year and can't, can't hardly wait to get there. Uh, as soon as you get here, everybody's hugging. Just, hello, how we doing, you know? By Sunday, it'll be everybody in the town and all of us. We'll all be hugging together. And it's like, it's just this magic experience that I, I it's like a drug. I, I'm hooked on it. For you, what's the what's your favorite thing about doing something like this? Just creating, yeah, making stuff, being able to produce something from nothing. That's that's mainly it. That is drawing really fast. It's amazing to me the people that can paint because I can't even. I can see it, but transitioning to any kind of surface is not even possible. What color eyes you think? Blue? No, brown. Not brown. Imagine a Native American, very much the same, same coloring. This is why they call us international mural painters. That's right. Okay. What's the most
most rewarding thing of, of being a part of this? I guess to be able to see something that wasn't here when we got here, and then when you look in your rear view mirror and you're leaving and there's 16 murals all over town, it's, that's exciting and, and, and rewarding for all of us. Um, and uh, it, it's just something that we see happen and we see the magic come together and all the people, uh, uh, a, lot, a lot of these people in the town are going to say, wow, this was the most amazing experience and, and we had no idea what was about to happen. We know, but they're going to find out this weekend how much fun this is, and it's just great. And, and a lot of the people who, uh, like Delavan, Wisconsin last year, some of the team members that are not artists and not signed people, but they helped us out, they're here this year because they got the bug, same as me. What this means to Marshall is that they've recaptured a little bit of their history, what some of them have, have forgotten, it, it's so the next generation knows what's going on. and. You know, sometimes to know where you're going, you got to know where you're from. And now we have a great opportunity for people to know that and actually, you know, find out about their community. Because you know what? There's going to be a lot of people living here in this town for a long time. And now they're going to be able to point at the wall and say, yes, we did this and this was us. And, you know, it tells their story, you know. And of course, I'm, a, I'm from the town, so I knew a lot of these stories before, so I, 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 you know, there were certain ones that I wanted to definitely see that we, we got on the walls. And uh, I've seen a big sense of community pride, which is just excellent. Uh, people smiling from ear to ear, people talking, people hanging out. There's people who probably hadn't talked to each other in years. They're out here on the streets talking to each other now. So when you build that sense of community again, right, these people then have that link together and then that's how they can move forward and this little renaissance that we have done here this weekend will then carry on to the future and that's the goal. City Spotlight is supported by Consolidated Communications. CCI is honored to salute the cities and their leaders in the area as well as providing TV, internet and phone service to local homes and businesses. We live where we work and are proud to support the communities we serve. More information available at consolidated.com.